This week only, you'll get polyurethane additive free. A 1995 value absolutely free. With polyurethane, your paint job will have an extra hard glass-like finish and added durability. Your paint job will be guaranteed not to fade for four full years. Remember, free polyurethane this week only at Earl Shives. Right. I'll paint any car for just $99.95. One eternity later. Marker Colbert, Speed of Cover Finish Network. All right, guys, so pretty excited. Um, we are still continuing to put out some of the cheapest, absolute cheapest, most professional paint jobs uh, on YouTube. Painting this whole car, base coat, clear coat. We're using decent to higher quality base and high, high, high quality clear. And we're still managing to get these jobs done under $300. I get the comments all the time, the paint police and the YouTube experts. Well, Marco, you got, you know, tape and paper and sandpaper and all this other stuff. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. All this stuff is irrelevant to me. I'm getting paper, blue polycoated paper by the roll for like 30 bucks. It does like probably 10, 15, 20 cars. I get uh, tape wholesale about $1.75 a roll. So right here we got about $1.75 in tape. About maybe two, three bucks in paper. Sandpaper, we got about, I don't know, probably 10 sheets of sandpaper in it, so about another five bucks. So if you already got all the tools you need, for sure, yes, this is a $300 paint job. Well, at least where I source my materials. So about the car, typical Genesis, um, Go Bad Blue. Uh, pretty much all the blue Genesises from like 2012 to I think 2014. All the metallic blue ones, they all chip, all the paint chipped off of them. Luckily, we were able to save this one before it got too bad. It was mainly just like the roof, the trunk. Um, but overall, yeah, it's pretty savable. We got this whole base coat kit off of eBay, right? And it is very close to the factory color. Close. A little bit more metallic. But, I mean, it is probably a little shade off. There we go. So that's a good light right there. Maybe a shade off and a little bit more metallic. This is Exalta base. Um, I guess some guy had a mixing bank and he just mixed it up in a can. Um, comes with activator, reducer, not sure what speed. Kind of sketchy, there's like no labels on anything. It's the first time kind of using paint with no labels, but I'm gonna do a couple test sprays, make sure it's good. I'm sure, I'm sure it's good paint. I do want this one to come out pretty nice. So we do got the SMR 42 clear. Um, that is only 159 bucks. So 120, 160, we got like, was that 280 right there? So I'm gonna shut up, we're gonna get some paint in the gun. Let's start spraying. He's one of the best scientific minds we have today.
All right, so as you guys can see, we're going relatively wet with the base coat. And the reason being, guys, is I tested out the paint really good um, before we shot the whole body. And this paint, it just, it just seemed like it would go on a lot better applying it wetter. Some paints are like this. Um, there's a couple brands out there, um, you know, especially the Speedo Coat base coat. You know, that paint, you can lay it on relatively wet over your primer areas and you won't get like problems like, you know, crow's feet or the halos that you normally get with like the cheaper base coats and paints. Um, this paint was very respectable. I didn't have any haloing um, in my base coat where the primer spots were. I didn't have any crow's feet, no solvent related issues, no solvent pop. This is a good quality base. And if I'm using a good quality base, typically speaking, I can go more wet on the first coat and the second coat and the third coat if I do a third coat. So bottom line, I think what I'm really trying to get at here guys with this voice message is um, I'm trying to tell you guys as a painter, you have to go with your gut instinct, okay? Um, moving on to the clear, you guys can see how wet I'm laying the clear. You know why? It was a hot day, it was a really hot day. Um, hotter days, you know, you gotta apply more material for it to flow out flatter um colder days you know you can kind of just get in the booth and use like a medium or a slow activator you know like some of these guys like brian from paint society he only uses slow that's all he uses is slow activator for clear coat most of the time and that you know those first couple coats of clear he's the only thing he's doing is just getting a full seal over top of his base and then you guys look at me right here on in this video I'm smacking that first coat on, you know, wet, like really wet. And that's the thing, like every painter is going to have a different way. Every day you go into the paint booth, you're going to apply the paint slightly different depending on at atmospheric temperature and conditions. Um, and also what type of a job it is, what type of a car it is, what type of an orange peel you're going after, whether you're going after factory orange peel, whether you want no orange peel, whether you want a lot of orange peel if it's a European car. Um, my message is there is no right or wrong way to do this. Um, get in there, experiment, set up some test panels, and do what you think is going to create the best quality result.
So you guys have it. $300 paint job. I absolutely love it. As you guys can see, we also did some other stuff to it. We got some wider t uh, wheels, excuse me, with some meat. I believe the rears are 10 inches wide or nine and a half inches wide. And then the fronts are nine inches wide. Um, these are some really wide, these are N key RPF ones to give it some really good traction. So went ahead, we did an ARK performance, um, short ram slash cold air intake. It's got, you know, the heat shield and all that, which will help a little bit compared to the absolutely stock uh, POS intake that was on it um, with an extremely dirty filter. So we, we did a lot of stuff under the hood, freshened everything up. Uh, brand new factory Denso plugs, uh, fresh oil change, all that good stuff. About the paint, wow. This stuff is incredible. Like, I mean, I can't say it's the best I've used, but here's what impresses me. For the money, I mean, it almost looks like, I can't say it looks like a candy, but I mean, it is just, it is just insane. Really crazy sparkle, nice depth. The other thing with this paint was the coverage. The coverage was like, it was almost immediate. The first coat of paint that I put on this car, I put it on pretty wet. I went against my own personal rule, which is always put the paint on light. But as you guys can see on this fender, in the video, you know, I was testing the paint out, te picking the smallest part on the car to test it out. And I, uh, one coated it, then double coated it. Looked beautiful, no issues. So I just said, screw it. Went ahead, hammered it on really good. Got full coverage in the first coat. Pulled the gun back on the second coat and kind of did a control coat to get those metallics looking beautiful. And then we topped it off with two coats of the infamous and the world's best clear coat, the Speedo Coat SMR42. The guys, this clear for the money, I'm sorry. There's just, there's nothing better on the market. Um, there's lots of other brands out there that advertise high, you know, high solids. And you know what? They're $200, $300, $400, $500 for a kit. SMR42 is hands down top dog in the clear coat industry. It is 42% solids. It holds all of its gloss. You don't need to buff. And guys, it's $159 shipped to your door for free. There is nothing better in the world. Sorry. It is stuff. This is no buff. It's full of dust. It's loaded with, it's been sitting in the shop for two weeks now, um, getting all assembled and put together. i um, waiting on parts as well. But it's loaded with dust, no polish. This car hasn't even been washed or nothing. And I mean, it's, this stuff just looks incredible. And this is only two coats. I mean, I could have done three or four and it would have looked even better than this, but this is two coats, clear. So that is gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. New videos every week.